Specialist Electronics and Control Systems manufacturing company ANSYS has developed a control system for train drivers that will improve safety standards on South Africa's railways and create jobs. The locally developed integrated driver display, similar in purpose to the center console found in some motor cars, controls a number of systems in a locomotive on a single display. South African engineering company ANSYS has been awarded a contract worth 188 million rand to supply the integrated system displays for Transnet's new locomotives and is going to make them locally. So what we have here is the, the ISD system. It's an integrated system display for using locomotives. Uh, what it actually does is it replaces all the screens or displays in a locomotive train cab system. You have buttons here that is all your connections to your different subsystems in the train systems that usually have their own or used to have their own display which is now incorporated into this system. There's buttons that you can use to access all the different displays. For instance we can uh, have a look at a Lockheed Martin display which is a subsystem in the train and the display is, is shown on, on our subsystem. In terms of efficiency we have um, only the one subsystem so the train drivers actually only need to, to learn one user interface. This contract effectively is going to take us uh, five years of the development of this unit, installation as well as the, the maintenance on all of them. The software, the assembly, everything is done locally. We definitely will be procuring from local companies. We'll try to take focus more specifically on the black-owned companies, the women-owned companies, Disabled people-owned companies, including the, 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 the youth. We will be, uh, for the project, creating employment. There will not be any, any job that might be lost as a result of not continuing the project. There has already been uh, some uh, inquiries coming from some of the rail operators internationally, including within the SADC region. We will be looking at the, to what extent can we use this technology to be utilized in, the, uh, in those international markets.